Well, so far it's been a pretty bearish market, but we've had a good run back. Um, there's been a lot of uh, short covering and, pro and, uh, and you know, uh, bargain, bargain chasing here, people trying to get back into the market. There's been an in in increase in uh, physical gold demand in Asia. So that's really kind of kept the price from going down a little bit more. Um, the Fed minutes, we had a pretty hawkish uh, announcement last in October. So we're trying to see, uh, dis you know, dissect the minutes a little bit. And we'll see how that plays out. If it turns out that it's not as hawkish as expected, we, we will see a little bit of movement in the gold market. Um, towards the end of the year, you know, stocks are on a really good run right now. The dollar's on a really good run. Continue that to probably happen to the end of the year. I'd be very surprised to see a huge correction in stocks or the dollar by the end of the year. So I think that gold will trickle back lower again. But right now we're seeing a lot of bullish action. You know, we can't really push this market down. It continues higher. We'll see. Well, the news that came out today pushed the gold market down almost 2% immediately. Um, somebody hit the, but the sell button and the market tanked pretty quick. Um, and that's just not even that big of a news. It was only a 6% lower than previously estimated. So, you know, you, if, the, if a 6% move is really pushing this towards, towards the no section, we could see that this might actually move the market quite a bit. We could have a significant sell-off. That would push the market way lower towards the end of the year on, when the November 30th meeting happens.